So what I'm doing, per the title, this is my very first ever time I'm making blueberry preserves, any preserves, any jam. Whichever one you want to call it. I am leaving it thicker, so I guess it'll be preserves. So what I did is I had eight cups of frozen blueberries. I wanted to get them out of the freezer, so I thawed them out ran hot water over them and of course measured them out this is exactly eight cups I mashed them up with this masher and not completely but quite a bit and I put them in a big enamel cast iron pot and I have this on medium between medium and medium high. I might turn it down a little bit now that it's boiling. So I'm cooking this down. That's what I'm doing so far. And like I showed, I have my butter. I'm going to use a pat of butter to keep from having so much foam on the top. I have my two boxes of Sure Gel. I always add one plus extra. I have bottled lemon juice. You always want to use bottled because the acidity level can be different in fresh lemons. And I have four cups of sugar, but I'm going to wind up adding most likely six to eight cups. It calls for eight cups, which is a lot, but when you're making this, you need a lot. And I always add extra pectin. To help it set I did that in the jelly I made a few years ago as well and I never had any problems with it setting up I would use brown sugar instead of white sugar if I had some but I need to make some more brown sugar and I do have a video on making brown sugar and powdered sugar if you're interested in watching that. I'm going to go ahead and add the pat of butter. Generous one. Go ahead and add a tablespoon of lemon juice. Stir that in. If you let this cook down, you really don't have to add any pectin, but I don't want to stand here all, all night long. And there's my third box or pack. I do want to continue to stir this. It will scorch on the bottom. Look at that. Oh my gosh. It's amazing. I can't wait till this summer to go pick blackberries out of the yard and make blackberry jam. And I also want to, if I get enough, I'm going to make blackberry pie filling so this needs to be at a hard boil that you can't stir down all that liquid is now thick I have my jars in the canner that I showed you half pints Okay, so it's still boiling when I stir it down. So I'm going to add all that sugar at one time. I'm going to fill this back up. Stir this in.
What's mama doing? T-Bone came to check out what I'm doing. <laughs> My little Jack Russell Chihuahua. What's mama making? It smell good. Look, Bones. Look. Look. Mmm. <laughs> uh-uh. Get out of that sugar. Don't fuss at me. You stay out of there. This dog has an attitude. <laughs> He's my guard dog. I'm let it sit. That's amazing. Now I need to let it sit and do its thing. That's got a little bit to go. I'll bring you back in just a second, split second your time when I get a rolling boil. So I'm cooking this down more. See how much the level dropped? Right there. Because it wasn't as thick as I wanted. So I had to add more pectin. I put a plate in the freezer. Mm. That's amazing. That's about right. Okay, it's ready. Got my first jar. amazing all the berries cooked down but there's still berries in there I'm going to fill the jars to a quarter inch headspace okay for, first jar, jar filled right there I moved everything over here. I'm going to wipe the rims with vinegar. Finger tight. Don't crank these down. The air has to be able to escape. Get some of these out of the way. So 
There it is. I don't know if I'm going to get another one. Maybe. I'm just slinging this stuff everywhere. You also want to feel for any cracks around the top of the jar when you're cleaning the rim. And then I already had it on water bath can, fill jars. I did it for 15 minutes instead of 10, just to be sure. Regulator is off, don't need it. Then in 15 minutes, it'll do a cool down process and then it will beep and tell me that they are finished and I'll show you the results. Okay, it is finished. I'm going to open the lid. Oh, I forgot to show y'all the water level. So, it was quite a bit over the jars. It was at least, at least an inch, inch and a half. Okay. Oops, set you back down. Okay, always set them on a mat. This is my dish drying mat. It's kind of stain but whatever always set them on a mat never put them directly on a countertop so i'm the guinea pig is what you're saying to yep. me, dragonflies and this is blueberry what preserves preserves honest opinion oh my god <laughs> that's what hmm. hold on oh yeah baby this is some good stuff it has like a Mm. Twang. Has, uh huh. It's real good. Because it's, it's wild. Not overly sweet. Because this would be really good on a piece of toast. And that because they're wild blueberries. Oh y'all, this is delicious right here. Mm. I will remove myself from your kitchen so that you can keep on canning. <laughs> that no, that's really good. I've never had wild bl raspberries, blue blueberries, blueberries. Uh, blueberries are not. Oops. <laughs> Do I have stuff on my face now? <laughs> mm. No, it's really good. It's really good. I want that on a piece of toast with just a little bit of butter. Oh, yeah. Ooh, or I'll make those biscuits, those homemade biscuits, and put it on. Oh, my mm -hmm. goodness gracious, yes. Okay. I give it a... Thank you. You're welcome. This is cooled off enough now. Isn't that beautiful? So.
So be sure to watch my other videos and leave me a thumbs up, subscribe, and all that jazz. And I will catch y'all on the next one. Y'all have a blessed day or evening. And thanks for watching. And leave me a comment below if you've ever made this before, if you're going to try it. And when you do, what you think about it. It's amazing. So I'll catch y'all on the next one coming up very soon. Bye, y'all.